In this video, we're going to take a little bit deeper look at multi-line curve labels. This is a feature that's new to TPC Desktop 2018, release one. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom in here where we've got some uh, arcs labeled. And if I tell Traverse PC to just delineate this traverse, you can see it's, it's not a very big traverse. It's just really from that intersection there through a tangent, through a curve, through another tangent. So I'm not going to be affecting a lot of curves when I change the traverse settings for this. But let's take a look at, at how this works. So I double click this label to go into the traverse drawing settings and I click on the curve tab. And you can see I've, I've told Traverse PC to label the curves and uh, the style I want to use is aligned. Now I could just as easily have used a stacked, okay? And these curves would show up like this, but that's not what I want. I want them aligned with the arc itself. So that's why I chose this aligned. And now I'm going to format how I want Traverse BC to draw that. So I go into the format dialog here. And in the aligned section for curves, I see that this is what I've told Traverse BC to do. Now, if I wanted to stretch that out, I'm going to take that line break out, choose OK, and apply that. So I've just told Traverse BC. Uh, with this format to put uh, D and then the delta, R and then the radius, L and the arc length, T and the tangent, but put them all along the curve aligned to it. And it wouldn't matter if this was a spiral or a curved in Traverse BC. It's going to say, okay, I'm going to center that on the arc, and I'm going to back up as far as I need to to get a running start at that label and place it on that, that arc. Now, it looks like it extended it just past the arc here a little bit, so I could come in and just slide that around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pick up that label here. Slide it around. I can move it out a little bit. So I can do a little bit, kind of place it where I want. But I, I might just step back and say, you know, that's just too tight there. So, so I, have a, I have this as an option. I can go back in and reformat this. And I can tell it I want all the curve labels to have multi-line. So let's put that new line character in there. Okay. And now I can move this back closer to where it was. Or I could say, I'm going to go in and make all the curves one way, and then I'm going to come in and manually edit the ones I want to be different. So I could come into this one, and I could manually edit it so it looked like this. Or I could go back and manually edit it so it looked like it did before. So I can then really have the format take care of creating the multi-line labels, or I can do it manually for each label. It's really up to you. We generally say, have the Traverse drawing settings do as much of the work for you as you can, and then come in and feel free to change the properties of individual labels like I just did for, for maybe the one that doesn't fit on there. But I think between the stacked and aligned, the ability to do the multi-line curve labels, you're gonna find that you can pretty much label anything you want uh, as far as line work inside of Traverse PC.